Welcome back to MK Sports Cars. Christmas has come early this week. We unwrap the Holy Ford GT 2.3 EcoBoost engine. All the bells and whistles have been fitted to the cup car and Project Ted is approaching that finish line. And finally, the Phoenix still the show at Snetterfield. Don't go anywhere guys, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> Today's test drive. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Kit Car Direct and MK Sports Cars. Well, as you know, we've moved in. We're still moving in <laughs> and we're still setting up. While we're doing the sitting up and moving it in, setting everything out, we've still been working on cars. So we're trying to keep everything rolling as well as best we can. So we'll start here with the Cup 200. So what has been going on? Well, we spoke a lot about this last week and we're rattling through it quite quickly. Uh, quite a few bits done. So uh, oil cooler bracketry is all done. This is a 25 row oil cooler. Uh, this is a slightly elongated hole to fit in the 19 and 25, slight variation. We've black packed them out basically. Um, the header tank's all done, etc. Brakes have all been bled now as well actually. We've done the geo on the car and the brakes have all been bled. Um, this is a new top wishbone setup with the M14. Uh, top rose joint on here as well, so it's a bit easier to adjust and a bit more fine, more adjustment on it as well. So they've all been all been done. Uh, we've run about 95 mil ride height under the chassis on this at the moment, and uh, well, we've got about 30 mil of rake in the car, uh, the whole car, um, and then it drops down a little bit when you put the driver in it. So we've been on with uh, engine bay and fitting all the shiny bits actually. So under here, let's have a look. We got. To, Rather large air filter, <clears throat> the Arval M1, AT throttle bodies on here, um, billet ones, very nice bit of kit, um, it, it's just quality really, nice throttle linkage, everything on it, um, beautiful, bolts together, perfect for this setup. Plug and play loom, we've been putting all of the loom in, so it's got the uh, fuel pressure sensors, we've got old temperature sensors, everything in that. As you can see around here, the fire extinguisher system's plumbed in. Um, and then moving round, uh, as we go around here, uh, all the core packs, all the leads, this loom runs up. It's a plug and play type of fair loom on this one, very short. Um, comes into the relay system, the Life ECU here. New way of doing the um, ECU panel as well. Normally we have a, a 90 here, we've made it flat and we've kept the battery under the bulkhead here. So it's behind the scuttle here. Um, simplicity, but this um, removes really, really quickly if you need to get access. Um, you could put a jump stack point in here as well etc. Um, fire extinguisher system here as well plumbed in passenger footwell and driver's torso under here you can just about see the blue anodized section in here. The new three piece column that's gone in that's all fitting in final fits been done on that with a go race uh, quick release boss. Right it's interior wise we've gone on in here we've got our side seal protectors here as well that hold on the body panels interior pack finishing off the gear lever this is on a bearing system you can see it's extremely loose <laughs> which is nice uh, we fit that in and we've angled it so when the driver's here i mean you are literally a fingertip away from changing gear which is quite nice we can do them straight as well but this is just for on on the cup car that we've done that all the cabling's on the inside but really six it's just a seat a steering wheel the minimalist uh, thing that you need for an analog driving experience on these Cup 200 cars. The little LED strip lights are here, the high level brake lights and indicators. Um, they work really well. Um, just, you know, a bit of notice, a bit of courtesy if you're on a track day, but for racing, not really required, but it's a bit of courtesy there. Um, we've had the new boot cover made as well for the FIA cage. So the FIA cage here and the Essex bodywork. Now the difference is you can't fit the classic one, they are different. This is wider, this whole section here is wider and this is slightly longer here by about 10 or 12, I think it's 12 mil to be exact, but let's say 10 mil just rounding it up. So the boot covers over it. So we've had the new ones fitted, they're done. They will fit nice and snug and tight around the roll bar. Again, lightweight, very quick to access and we'll press stud these in. So you've got access to, uh, to everything and then we just got to finish up the the minimalist wiring loom, which is fuel pump, rear lights and stuff to put in there as well. So this is racing along quite nicely. Um, well, we've got another week or so to get it ready and uh, exhibit it and uh, get it ready for, for Donington. Right, 
well, we just had, uh, I just unloaded three pallets off a truck, actually. Um, let me show you what's in them. Nice goodies. Oh! Here we go. We have in here a 2.3 EcoBoost engine. Now this engine, as you probably know, is used in, well, in seven different applications in the Ford process. It's a brand new crate engine and uh, produces, well, conservatively around about 350 horsepower. This, this is the Mustang variant. Um, you can change it to like the RS Focus variant as well with different blending chambers and stuff like that. But this is the uh, Mustang variant because it should mate to, if I open this box, yeah, 350 So actually, I've just opened that bit there. No, the lid's actually open. In here, we have a Mustang MT, brand new, brand new uh, MT82 gearbox as well. So that is the whole powertrain, basically, out of the Mustang GT, which they did in a 5-litre variant or the 2.3 EcoBoost variant. So we've got, comes complete with, well, we've got everything. It's the turbochargers here, all, all on it. Uh, Clutch and flywheel, uh, flywheel, just got to get the clutch sorted on it. Um, all the looms, everything else, intakes, the whole thing. Complete crate engine. And guess what we're going to be doing with one of this? Well, we're going to be sticking it in one of those. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be stock, stock. Well, I think we have a bit of tuning and tweaking, we'll probably get a bit more, but stock is 350 horsepower. And there's something like 300 and something foot pound of torque. Absolutely mental. So um, we're doing this for a customer. Uh, it's going out into uh, Canada and America. Um, that we've got some customers who want this, so do you know what? I thought we'd hook it up. I cannot wait to see what this thing's going to go like. I think it's going to be an absolute rocket ship. Oh, we like this. Ooh. Right, from one Ford Mustang engine there, which is the 2.3 KO boost, to this. The Honda K20A, which you know we've had a little dabble with um, and put into a few cars now. Well, you know, the one car that got built for hashtag Simon um, that's been done. We've had another one delivered here. This is from a customer, supplied the engine, and this is headed on into us. It's had a little bit of detailing. I think we can probably do a little bit more tarting on it to make it a bit nicer because most of this gets ripped off here. Alternator gets ripped off, this pulley system gets ripped off. Water pump comes off here. Um, we do a water pump delete and everything on it as well. Um, rocker covers come out nice though that the customer's done or got customers who got it done come out nice in the wrinkle red finish so yeah this one uh, this is going to be going into the build not quite yet a little bit away from this build to start but yeah watch out for the next k20a build right what we got here is uh, parts of uh, the um, s2000 car so he was at anglesey the other weekend he's come back in if he wants a few little touches and changes nothing major but silly things like i say silly but everything looks them Little canards, we need some front canards fitted on it. I mean, it's more look than anything else. I don't think they really produce a lot of uh, downforce in any way, shape or form, but the little carbon canards, really sweet little things. Um, we've got the wheels and tyres because he was running slicks and we've got the road tyres here, which we're going to put back on for him. And then Ben's sitting about on the car, on the back of the car right now, fitting a rear diffuser. Right, here we are with the MK Indy RR. So this is hashtag Ted's car, uh, rattling along with this as well. As you can see, all the bodywork's now been fitted back in uh, as well. We showed last week about the Bluetooth paddle shift system. Um, this is all hooked up basically here, wired up. So we've got, it's all on a start key ignition button now. This has all been put back in, we've tested the systems. So all the uh, side lights and lights and everything else all light up and etc. You've got hazards and stuff like that, reverse system here. Everything else is on the indicators and everything's all on the uh, wireless system. Um, she should start, actually, it's a clutch system on this one. We've left the clutch switch in the car um, as well. So that's gear change, up and down, neutral light on. And uh, press the go button. Oh, no, immobiliser. <laughs> here we go. 
go. So nice and smooth. Engine sounds quite sweet. Um, so yeah, don't like starting them just shortly. You don't normally like starting them running for short periods. It's not really good for the plugs, but not to warm them up, but it's just to give you guys a flavour. Um, yeah, rear arches on with the stone guard protectors, the carbon stone guard, carbon interior, roll bars all fitted. Um, we've just got now to seats to sort out and a few other bits, roll cages and that. And this is kind of getting very, very close. We've just got to do then the emission side of it for it and get it tuned in and dialed up for, for IVA. But she's super close. Well, we're outside the new unit here, and while we was here, we pushed the Phoenix outside, and we thought we'd tell you a little bit more of an update, I suppose. Now we're into the more unit, the new unit here, we've got a bit more space, so we will start pushing ahead again with this, with the Phoenix, and trying to get this back into production, along with the Striker. Um, but we thought, do you know what, it'd be rude not to, so we sent Ben on a mission to Snetterton on the racetrack, and thought, let's test her out, see where she goes, and here's the footage of it. Right, chassis, uh, well, we're on with plenty of chassis production going on, I suppose, but we, if you'd like to know where you are, queue's up there, it's moving along. We've got quite a few in the order at the moment, but if you want to get yourself in that queue and you want to get yourself on the MK train, shall we say, then uh, focus up on a phone call and email, we'll I'll gladly help you. Right, guys, well, let's end off the week here uh, with hashtag Brian's car. Well, this is really on the finishing straight now because uh, we've got the stripe pack on it. So it's got the yellow stripe pack on it now. Uh, got a few little bits to button up, a uh, bit of a test as well on the car. Got to be done. And then I think uh, it's got to make some kind of rain cover for it as well, I do believe. Um, but yeah, it's really on the home stretch. Just the aero screen to fit back on. We had fitted it all, but we took it off now to uh, put the stripe pack on it as well. So yeah, black and yellow looking pretty strong. So this is all booster power, as you know, in the RR, FIA cage, LSD, uh, 205 tires, 185 on the front. It's got a Gen 2 booster in it, um, bells and whistles. And as you know, we got, as you gear change and everything on the steering wheel. So for those of you who haven't tuned in or haven't subscribed, you wouldn't have seen it before. Well, here it is in the flesh change up and down the gears. You've seen that a few times if you watch us each week, but really, really cool. And I've tested it out so far on the road, um, giving it one road test and it works a treat actually. It's quite weird that you think you've got no cable and wirelessly doing that gear change. Uh, very, very impressive. So yeah, that's where we're at with uh, this one. Um, I suppose that's a wrap for this week. Where does it go? Moved in, lots going on, amazing. So like, share, subscribe, and guess what? You'll catch you next week. <laughs> <laughs>